how to select curly hair. Let's just say you want to replace a plain background with a more textured background like this one. To do this, you have to select the model's hair. And in most cases with curly hair, it can be quite difficult, but here's how it's done. Make sure you select the hair layer, then choose select and subject to create an initial selection automatically. To refine that selection, go to the select menu and choose select and mask. In the select and mask workspace that opens up, go to the view menu and choose overlay. This shows you the non-selected areas as a red mask. To try and refine the selection automatically, go to the refine mode selection, open that up and click object aware. This will tell Photoshop to find and refine the edges of the hair in the next steps. Second, select from the top of the toolbar, the refine edge brush tool. And in the options bar, click refine hair. That cleaned up some of the edges around the curly hair. If you want to fine tune those edges even more, with that refine edge brush tool selected, paint over any remaining bits of white from the original background. This will add red overlays to those bits too. If you need to remove red overlay from the area, hold down the option key on the Mac or the alt key on the windows and just drag over that area. If you take another look on the view menu by changing that to the on layers, you can see how the hair will look against the new textured background. When you're satisfied with the image, just scroll down to the bottom, then open up the output settings and choose an output format, like new layer with layer mask or layer mask or whichever you want to choose and then just click OK. Now that you're back in Photoshop, you'll see there's a new layer mask on the hair layer that's hiding the original background and letting the new textured background show through around the model's curly hair. That's it. Follow me for more daily tips.